Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. Several years ago, I did a video celebrating my first year on YouTube, and I discussed my portrait sculptures of attractive young ladies. And now this is my fifth year on YouTube. In fact, I will be beginning my sixth year on July 31st. And I thought I would talk about the meaning of abstract sculptures. And I have discovered that abstract art does have relevance. Now, certainly, the human body is the greatest, most beautiful, most perfect, most sublime form in all of nature. And, of course, the reason is because it is an imitation of God Almighty. As the Bible says, that we are made in the image and likeness of God. However, there is an advantage to abstract art because you can combine the human form with other forms in nature, such as rocks or boulders or plant forms, and you com come up with a completely new expression. And quite a few years ago, I did a series combining the form of an open human hand, which is expressive in itself, and the form of a Madonna and child. And of course, Madonna's are very popular in art and have always been a subject for serious art. Now let's take a look at some of my examples combining the open hand form with the Madonna and Child. Now in this Madonna and Child, I have used a simple circle to express the face of the Madonna and another smaller simple circle to express the face of the child. I think you can see the roughly the form of the hand and I have used the three basic shapes in nature, triangles, circles, and rectangles, to express this particular art. And of course, triangles, circles, and squares are signs of the Trinity. This piece is cast in polyester resin with a powdered aluminum filler, and I believe it gives a rather attractive metallic appearance. Now this is one of the very first sculptures I made, combining the hand form with a Madonna form to create an abstract sculpture. This sculpture is made out of concrete, actually, but as we sculptors like to say, it's cast stone. This is one of my earlier Madonnas. As you can see, this concept of combining a hand with a Madonna can be expressed in quite a number of ways. Now this piece is cast in polyester resin with an epoxy painted surface. I believe this combined open hand and Madonna form is recognizable also from the back. Now this is a rather large bulky piece so I decided to leave this in my gallery rather than move it outside. And once again a f abstract form, in this case an ellipse, expresses the face of the Madonna and another smaller ellipse expresses the face of the child. I have subtitled this sculpture The Flame and it is made out of polyester fiberglass with a bronze powdered filling. Now I would undoubtedly call this piece more of a hand than a Madonna. Nonetheless, the hand form has been modified by the concept of a Madonna and child. Normally, for example, the fingers on a hand turn away from the thumb, but in this piece the fingers are bent toward the thumb, therefore giving you somewhat the flavor of a Madonna. Of course, abstract art can be perverted, just like the human form can be perverted into pornography. Pornography degrades the human spirit, and true art uplifts the human spirit. And I hope I have uplifted the human spirit with my abstract Madonna and Childs. Now I do offer my free bumper sticker. For a free bumper sticker which promotes my YouTube ministry, simply send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address you see on your screen.